Good morning. Happy Monday. I am at my new job and I'll explain why I have a new job later, but I am just going to be working today. I have some meetings and then I have life group tonight, so I'll explain everything that's going on soon, but I just wanted to give a little intro. So let's get our work day started. Hey guys, I'm home now. Obviously, I didn't vlog anything, but let me quickly explain my situation. So, I started a new job. I got a social media managing job for a marketing company. So, now I manage businesses, social media, which is the dream, of course. However, I wasn't expecting to get a job until after college when I graduate in May but this job happened to open up right now so I'm studying right now and so now I work three jobs I am a full-time student and of course a wife a homeowner I'm a friend to people I'm a daughter that has family that wants to hang out with me and all this stuff is going on and unfortunately, I'm starting to feel myself slip into extreme burnout like I experienced in 2021. If you've been following me for that long, you would know that I had a really hard time right before I left American Eagle. And that's kind of where I'm at now. I have cried three times in the last two days. So that's really good. And it's not that I regret anything, it's not that I don't like anything I'm doing, I like those things, but it's just a lot. So that's kind of where I'm feeling. This is my first week with my new job and school at the same time, so I thought I would vlog this and you can see this in reality. So I worked today from 10 to 5. And it's an hour drive, so I left at 9, got back at 6, and it's 6.30 now. I have life group in a few minutes, and everyone will be coming over soon. And you can be thinking, praying for me, and I just have two months of this. That's all I got, but it feels way longer than that. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I am at school right now and I have a very busy day today. I have chapel, an interview for my journalism class, a class, another interview for my journalism class, another class, and then I'm going to Costco tonight to go grocery shopping for March. So that's the busy day today. I'm going to take you along with and we're going to get through it together. I'm done with all the classes, all the interviews, and all that stuff. So now I'm at Costco. I'm going to do my monthly grocery shopping, and I'll kind of explain how I do that when I am done. This is all of the groceries I got. Sorry, I look crazy right now. My eyes are like bloodshot. I look so crazy. It's just because it's been a long day. That's really all. The reason why I go grocery shopping once a month is just for time's sake, really. I don't have time to go grocery shopping more than that. And I just stock up on everything that we may need. The only thing that I would buy. Shh. I'm putting stuff away. Sorry. <laughs> the only thing I would buy in between now and next month is fruits and veggies and like milk, eggs, bread, that kind of stuff. 
But everything else I just stock up on. So we got like noodles, chicken broth, meat, um, sauces, Parmesan cheese. I bought some like quick easy dinners for when we're just not feeling it. And Which is most of the time. And I bought bagels, like house goods. This is tissues, toilet paper, LaCroix for Alec. And that's kind of what I buy. That's how I grocery shop for two. In case you're wondering. <laughs> Good morning. Today is turning out to be much better than the start of this week. So today's Wednesday. I finished content planning for this week. I know it's the middle of the week, but that's just what's happened. And then I batched content, created a bunch of TikToks and reels, and that felt really good to be, to actually feel like I'm ahead, because I constantly feel like I'm behind. That felt good. So I packed up my backpack. I'm about to pack up my lunch and leave for school. Today I just have chapel, one class, and counseling. And then tonight where there's a worship night. So this will be a lot better content day, but let's get going. Let's go to school. This is out of control. School on this laptop. Big girl job on this laptop. Alec. He has one though. So good for him. <laughs> I got home from class. And it was pretty good. I actually worked on my social media job during class. Because you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I had counseling. And me and my counselor went on a walk while we had our counseling session it's a good time and then i came home and worked a little bit and now alec and i are going to target That's i'm cool. so excited i didn't vlog in target but i got reese's eggs and peeps i have chocolate i'm upset with you sorry now i don't get my things because now i can't open them Peeps have chocolate bottoms. <laughs> I just dropped all of Alex's drinks. He's out of control with the drinks. A liquid death. Here you go. That I can't open. <laughs> and a cream soda. Here you go. That I also can't open. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You'll be okay. Open it over in the sink. We're gonna watch New Girl and then I'm gonna get back to work. Hey, 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 get out, get out. Happy Thursday. Today I'm feeling very low energy. That could be because of the weather. We have had sunny days for a little bit and today is rainy and gloomy but it also just could be from the week you know stressful week but today is actually a good day because I technically have midterms this week and next week but my midterms this semester are kind of weird so I just have several projects instead of any tests but the projects will take a while and I have probably eight of them like so many projects so that part's overwhelming but what the teachers do to give you time to do those projects is they cancel the classes and then you can do them so I don't have class today but I am still going to school because I need chapel credits I've missed too many chapels so I'm going to chapel I'm gonna eat lunch with a friend and then I'll tell you what we're doing for the rest of the day later. It's a really hard thing to see what's going on there. If you want to get up. Long time, no talk. Yo, yo, yo. Um, I 
don't know last I talked to you. I think I went to chapel and lunch with my friend. Then I picked up Alec and we went to a coffee shop to work for the rest of the day. I did social media work for my job. And then I read a chapter for my online class. And now we're going on a date night since we are out and about anyways. And I think we're just going to go to Noodles and Company. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. It's so yellow out here. Those are so pretty. <laughs> I'm so sleepy after our date night. I told I told Alec that I needed to work. So since I needed to work, he went to play basketball with some friends and I did like an hour maybe an hour and a half maybe of social media work for my job and then I was going to do more school work but I started stalking my own TikTok <laughs> and I didn't do that so it's now 11 I need to go to bed so I'll see you tomorrow for the last day of this week Woo happy Friday I definitely had a different day planned than what's happening, but I do not have school today first off because like I said yesterday, it's midterms week, but the midterms are projects, so they just cancel class for us to work on them instead, so I guess that's nice. <laughs> and what I was going to do was I was going to film some content with my dad and then I was going to hang out with a friend, but neither of those things are happening. Half because I just can't get myself to get ready and leave the house, but also half because we're supposed to be getting a huge storm today. So far, not looking like it. Looks pretty normal outside, but we shall see what happens. And yeah so right now i'm working on my online class again i have this big textbook here and i have to read these like 40 page chapters and i have to do it because i've been not doing good on the quizzes so i need to pay attention i guess to very specific facts for the quizzes so that i can do better on them so i'm gonna be reading that for a little bit and Alec is doing his normal work from home. I'm trying this new thing where I'm time blocking my day. So I did each task by the hour. And hopefully that will help me with my overwhelming feeling that there's so much to do and I just can't accomplish it if I put it into this. I used to do this, but I haven't done it in a while. So I'm going to try it again and we'll see how it goes. But let's get started on reading this chapter. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I will eat buttered noodles until I die. And I know that's super basic, I know it's super boring, but it's a comfort food for me. Whenever my mom was not home, my dad would cook for us and he only knew how to make butter noodles. So that's what we'd eat and I love it. So yeah, that's what I had for lunch. Now I'm just doing some social media posts. If you aren't aware, I have my own social media clients on the side that are not a part of. The new job that I got so trying to juggle all of that and figure out the best way to post for all of those and that's kind of what I'm working on right now so I'm gonna post on these I also have my influencer account that I post on too so not too exciting but I got my blue light glasses because I've been staring at screens for like several days straight so we need to protect the eyeballs 
Look at that little chocolate peep. So cute. <laughs> it's so dark in our house now that I turned on the lamps. The storm is finally coming, I think. But it still doesn't seem very windy. Yeah, we're under tornado watch now, but there's like no wind. It's just the lighting changed. <laughs> so like I'm not really sure. Bit. Like, the, it's literally 2 p.m. and you can't even see my face right now. That's how dark it is in here. storm has started and it's pretty scary. Let me show you what's happening. I don't want to open the door. The wind, the rain, it is intense. And I'm not going anywhere. I feel like I can't talk on here because it's so loud, but maybe you can't even hear it. I don't know. Sort of. I did do a deep cleaning and decluttering my entire room, and in that video, I did like a mini closet clean out. But I want to do like a huge closet. Look at that, fellows! As soon as it came, it left. That's how it happens here in the south. We get storms that don't last very long, but when they do come, they're pretty crazy. While I'm getting unready and getting ready for bed, I wanted to talk a little bit to end off this vlog about what's been going on. I've been feeling burnt out for sure, which I've been in this situation before. If you've been watching the vlogs, you know that. But what happens when I get burnt out is I will isolate myself. I will cry a lot. <laughs> I cried like five times this week, I think. I'm trying to be proactive this time, so I started telling people that I know and trust about what was going on so that they could be praying for me, all that good stuff. But then I started catching myself like throwing a pity party and getting mad at people that didn't give me the reaction I wanted, I guess. And that's not good either. So I've been praying, kind of thinking to myself about how I don't need anybody to pity me, but I can ask for their help. And there's a difference. And that's kind of the attitude that I'm having towards this. My encouragement for you today is to be honest with people in your life about how you're doing, but also still be proactive in doing things that make you feel good and taking responsibility for where you're at and not placing blame on other people because they are not pitying you like I was. <laughs> so that's, I guess, my encouragement. I'm not really doing anything self-care today, but I do have a self-care day tomorrow. And tomorrow, I don't know what I'll do. Probably read because it's my favorite thing to do on my rest days. But yeah, that's my encouragement for you. Thank you for watching this vlog. And I'll see you somewhere else on the internet. Bye guys.